we had seen that under root 2 is an irrational number. Now, if I add, subtract, multiply or divide this irrational number root 2 or any irrational number with a rational number, what I get is an irrational number again. Further, we would also seen that pi 2 is an irrational number. Now, let us look at this. Square roots and cube roots. These numbers are actually are special types of irrationals and they are called surds. S-U-R-D-S, surds. So, A to the power 1 by 2 is nothing but square root of A. A to the power 1 by 3 is nothing but cube root of A. That is the second root of A or the third root of A. Now, similarly, if I have A to the power 1 by N, that is the nth root of A, then I can call this as third of order N. Now, let us see how to add, subtract, multiply and divide irrational numbers or thirds. So, I have these two irrational numbers. We have seen addition, multiplication, subtraction and division of a rational number with an irrational number. Now, what I am trying to do is, trying to see addition of irrational numbers. So, I have these two irrational numbers. How do I add them? Now, remember that you cannot add two irrationals like you add integers. So, this would not give me under root 8. This is not under root 8 which is 5 plus 3, 8 and you put an under root sign. It does not work like that. So, this is not equal to under root 8. If you want to add these irrational numbers, you will have to convert it to decimals and then see. There is no way to add these two irrational numbers. But remember, this is not equal to under root 8 for sure. So, this is not under root 8. Now, let us look at this. Under root 5 plus under root 5. Now, again, I can definitely say that this is not equal to under root 10, which is 5 plus 5. You cannot add it like integers. But what you can do is, under root 5 is there in both the terms. So, I can take under root 5 outside. If I take under root 5 common from both the terms, what I will be left with is 1. 1 times under root 5 gives me under root 5 plus 1 again. So, this gives me under root 5 times 2 which is same as saying 2 under root 5. So, this is what I get. Under root 5 added 2 times is 2 times under root 5 which is 2 into root 5. So this is what we get. Now, let us see whether we can subtract irrationals. Subtraction of two irrational numbers, again, does not work like integers. So, this would not be equal to under root 2. That is, subtracting 3 from 5, which gives me 2. This is not equal to under root 2. So, this is for sure there. So, now, can you answer this question? How would you subtract 3 under root 2 from 5 under root 2? So, we know we have to subtract 3 under root 2 from 5 under root 2. What I see is that under root 2 is common. So, again I can do, what I can do is take under root 2 common. So, if I take under root 2 common, what will I get? From first term I get 5 because 5 is being multiplied by under root 2 minus 3 is being multiplied by under root 2. This is what I get, 5 minus 3 if I take under root 2 outside. So, which is equal to 2 under root 2. So, subtracting 3 times under root 2 from 5 times under root 2 gives me 2 times under root 2. So, this is how you can subtract irrationals. Now, let us see multiplication of irrationals. Under root 5 times under root 3. Now, this is similar to integer multiplication. What you do is, you just multiply the integers, which is 5 and 3. 5, 3 is a 15. So, you multiply the integers as it is and put an under root sign. So, under root 5 into under root 3 gives me under root 15. Similarly, I can say that multiplying any under root A times under root B, two irrational numbers, multiplication of two irrationals would give me you multiply these numbers as it is, which is AB, and put an under root sign above it. So, 
So now can I multiply these two? Under root 5 times under root 5? Again, what would this be? Under root 5, 5 is 25. Now I know that under root 25 gives me 5. So this is equal to 5 actually. Because this is a perfect square. So I get 5. Or you can say that this is nothing but under root 5 whole square. Which again gives me 5. So under root 5 times under root 5. That is if a irrational number is multiplied to itself. Then you get the number without the under root sign. Which is 5. Now let's look at division. So this is multiplication. Now let's look at division. Under root 5 divided by under root 15. Again. Like multiplication, we can divide irrationals also just as integers and put an under root sign there. So what I'll do is, I divide 5 by 15, that is the numbers, 5 and 15, and I put an under root sign. So I get, I can divide this, I get 1 by 3 and an under root sign. So this is what I get. 1 by 3. Now this also I can write it as under root 1 by under root 3. Under root 1 is nothing but 1 by under root 3. So this is how you can write. So if you have under root sign in numerator and under root sign in denominator, you can put an under root sign over the entire term or if you have an under root sign over the entire term, you can put the under root sign over the numerator and over the denominator. Now let's look at this. So if you have these two irrational numbers and you want to divide these irrational numbers, divide integer part which is a by b and put an under root sign. So this would be under root a divided by under root b would be a by b whole under the root. So this is how we can add, subtract, multiply and divide irrational numbers. Remember that addition and subtraction does not work like integers but for multiplication and division it is almost similar to integers but remember to put the under root sign.